I just ripped up that piece of paper. No big deal. It's only worth a few cents. But imagine if you heard that sound. Instead of being a piece of paper, it's a comic book worth hundreds of thousands of dollars. I want to tell you about the real life story. Hey, how you doing? My name is Keston. Welcome to my channel on old school comic books, where I talk about the comics that came out between 1938 and the late 1960s. That's the Golden Age through the Silver Age. Today we'll be talking about the book that kicked off the Golden Age. It's Action Comics number one, the first appearance of Superman. We'll talk about a particular copy of this book that was found in the most unusual of circumstances, then mutilated and finally sold. It's the early 2010s in Minneapolis, Minnesota, and a gentleman had just bought an old house, a house that was originally built in 1938, the same time that Superman debuted. The man was going through the house, remodeling, tore down a wall, and was pulling out insulation. Amongst the different papers he was seeing that was used as insulation, he finds something that's crumbled up, and he starts to unfurl it. And what does he see? Action Comics number one, the most valuable comic book in all the world. Upon this discovery, the gentleman goes and talks to some of his family members, his wife's aunt, and he have an argument. A tussle ensues and somehow there's a rip. It's the back cover of Action Comics number one. Oh. Nevertheless, the book sold at auction in 2013 for $175,000. Had that back cover not been torn, the book might have sold for as much as $300,000. And there you have it, the story of the Action One tragedy. Although the story is not that tragic, the fellow did come away with $175,000 after all. I'm Keston. Thanks so much for coming to my channel. If you like the content, please hit that subscribe button. I'll be putting out more content related to old school comic books.